Unlike some languages, word order matters in English. In today's video, you will test yourself. Can you use yet, already, still? How about putting them in the right order? Can you do that? Well, go ahead, like, subscribe, and of course, hit that notification bell, and let's get started. Choose the correct sentence. A. Does he go late to bed usually? B. Does he usually go to bed late? C. Does he go late usually to bed? Good. B is the correct answer. The adverb usually refers to what typically or normally happens. We use it mostly in mid-position between the subject and the main verb or after the model verb or first auxiliary verb. However, it comes always after the verb to be. So, for example, I usually get up around 8 o'clock. You see, it's before. But we say, I'm usually lazy in the morning after the verb to be. All right, second sentence. A. Did you learn a lot at school today? B. Did you learn a lot today at school? C. Did you learn today a lot at school? Which one is the correct answer? The correct answer is A. Adverbs of place, at school, in time, today, go in end position. And in this order, so adverbs of place come before adverbs of time. Don't forget that. Where, when, okay? Third question. A. He liked the present a lot last night. B. He liked a lot the present last night. C. He liked last night the present a lot. The correct answer is, he liked the present a lot last night. We cannot separate a verb and its object. And last night is an adverb of time, and as we said, it comes in final position. Next one, A. Obviously, you can never be sure of what will happen. B. Obviously, you can be never sure of what will happen. C. You can obviously be never sure of what will happen. <laughs> the correct answer is A. Obviously, you can never be sure of what will happen. And let me explain to you why and remember these rules. Obviously is a comment adverb. Common adverbs go in initial position, and then you have a comma. Never is an adverb of frequency, and we said it goes in mid-position, right? Can never be done. Good, you remembered that. All right, next one. A, please, tomorrow drive carefully your car. B. Please drive your car carefully tomorrow. C. Please drive carefully your car tomorrow. Which one is the correct answer? Good. The correct answer is please drive your car carefully tomorrow. As we said, we cannot separate a verb and its object, so we need to say drive your car. Carefully is an adverb of manner. Adverbs of manner usually go in final positions. Tomorrow is an adverb of time. And it also goes in final position, right? So our order is manner, adverb of manner, place, and time. I know this topic may not be very easy for many of you guys, 
but I think it's really important because just as I'm reading these sentences, they just feel wrong. The order is so important. Like you need to have first your subject, then your verb, then the object of the verb, then you have the adverb of manner, then the adverb of place, then the adverb of time. Native speakers just do this naturally. Next question. You need to choose the correct sentence and this one is a test if you are listening. A. Marwa works still in Munich. Marwa is still in Munich. Marwa lives still in Munich. And now this is not about my personal life. It's about grammar. The correct answer is Marwa is still in Munich. Why? As I explained, like usually, still comes after the verb to be, but before other verbs. Let me explain to you the meaning of still. We use it to emphasize that something is continuing. They have been together for 40 years and they're still very much in love. And as I said, we put still in mid position before the verb. She still goes, but she's still. However, in spoken English, in informal speaking, you will often hear still used in end position. So many speakers of English would say, I can't find my bag still, but this is considered as informal. Let me take a moment to explain the difference between already, yet, or still. Look at the first dialogue. Is your sister still at university? Yes, she's got one more year to do. I know she was at university. I'm asking, does that continue to be true? Is she still at university? Second dialogue. Is your sister at university yet? No, she's only 17. She will go next year. I expect that she will go to university. I'm asking, is she there now? I don't know. I haven't seen her for a while. All right. The third one. Is your sister already at university? She's only 17. Yeah, she started this year. She's so clever, they let her enter a year early. Here, I'm surprised if your sister is at university. I didn't expect it to happen until later. And that's why I used already. Now that I have explained the difference, you need to choose the correct sentence. A. We have still had breakfast. B. We have yet had breakfast. C. We have already had breakfast. The correct answer is we have already had breakfast. Next. It's dinner time, but I'm not very hungry still. It's dinner time, but I'm not very hungry yet. It's dinner time, but I'm not very hungry already. Which one is correct? Exactly. It's dinner time, but I'm not very hungry yet. By the way, even if you don't know the meaning, yet is the only one that we put at the end of the sentence. And yet, until now, I don't feel that, okay? Next. A, he's injured, but he already plays football. B, he's injured, but he yet plays football. C, he's injured, but he still plays football. The correct answer is C. He's injured. Usually he should stop, but this person continues to play football. So we say he still plays football. Good. Next one. A. Have you washed your car still? B. Have you washed your car already? C. 
Have you washed your car yet? Good. The correct answer is Have you washed your car yet? Remember this rule, guys. With questions and negative statements, we use yet. I haven't washed my car yet. Have you washed your car yet? With positive statements, we use already. I have already washed my car. It's time for our last question. Unscramble this sentence and leave a comment below. So the words are obviously, comma, to, Toronto, will, tomorrow, leaving, be. All right? Just write your answer below and let's see what you learned. Thanks for watching this video. You did well. If you would like to expand your vocab more, then go ahead and watch this video. You will enjoy it. My name is Marwa, aka, Ooh. and thank you for choosing me as your teacher.